So ectopic ureters are a problem that we see from time to time, particularly in puppies. And basically what it is, normally the kidneys obviously produce the urine. The urine travels down these tubes called ureters and insert into the bladder, fairly close to, to the bladder neck. Now what happens in the case of ectopic ureters is rather than entering the bladder where it should do, the ureter comes down and enters the the urinary tract a little bit lower down and so that there's a whole pile of variations on where this can enter but generally it enters down into the urethra or past the point where the bladder can actually stop the urine from escaping and so rather than going into the bladder being stored and then being peed out what's happening is the urine is basically coming down and going straight out so what we see with um, with animals with this condition is just basically a constant dribbling of, of urine and that can lead to wet patches at either where they sleep or where, where they sit. It can lead to wet fur around the back end, um, recurrent urinary tract infections, those sort of problems. But really the big one is we see just that, what it looks like incontinence, but it's, it's a little bit different from incontinence because it's not the bladder failing to hold things, it's just the urine is, is effectively bypassing the bladder. So this is generally a surgical condition because what we need to do is we need to basically stop things from going out where they, where they shouldn't. And the various surgeries we've got, it depends a little bit on, on what's going on in terms of if one kidney is draining exactly where it should do and this one, the other one is, is, is an ectopic ureter, then we've got a few options. We might actually remove this kidney and ureter so that the animal is just relying on one kidney. So about two thirds of, of a pet's kidney is, is actually surplus to requirement. So an animal can function quite well on one kidney. And that's, that's probably the most straightforward of the treatment options. We can also try to insert the, the ureter back into a more appropriate position. That's a very challenging surgery. It's very much a referral level surgery. Um, and that's not always possible. It depends a little bit on, on the confirmation of, of the individual pet. Um, so that's really what we're looking at with ectopic ureters. If you've got a puppy or a kitten that's constantly dribbling urine, has a lot of incontinence, urine scold or, or wet, wet fur around the back end, this may be the problem and it needs investigating.